Today we're going to talk about armor hardness, armor piercing, breaching the armor and how armor tanking works in general. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. With the recent activities in the Pleiades sector, a lot of people have been getting into armor tanking a lot more and I feel like this is a good time to talk about how armor tanking works, how armor hardness, armor piercing and how module damage is calculated. All of that is coming up. I'm going to divide this into two main sections. First we're going to talk about armor hardness and armor piercing and then we're going to talk about breach damage and how module damage works. Okay, so to start with armor hardness and armor piercing. Now, every ship in the game have a fixed armor hardness or armor rating. And you can see that if you go over here to your status panel um, and then find your statistics. This is my jumper conda. Uh, so the shield health, the shield armor is of course nothing special. But what's interesting here is you can see the armor rating just below the shield health which is at 65. Again, these stats are static for each ship. So for the Anaconda, 65, and for the Corvettes, the Cutter, and the Fertilance, it's 70, which was previously the highest you could get. But with the recent addition of the Type 10, we have a new king of armor uh, rating, or armor hardness, which is, of course, the Type 10 at 75. So how does this stat determine the amount of damage, how much, the amount of damage you take on your uh, armor? Well, that depends on the weapon shooting back at you. So let's um, let's open up the um, the outfitting panel here. Uh, there it is, and let's have a look at some weapons. And let's start by having a look at let's say a huge gimbal beam laser. We can see here the armor piercing is now listed in here, and the huge gimbal beam laser have an armor piercing of sixty. That means that this can effectively overcome armor with an armor rating up to and including 60. And for anything over, it's beginning to get reduced damage. So if we take the 2D gimbal beam laser as an example, armor, re uh, armor piercing rating of 35. If you were shooting at a Fettel Corvette's armor with this weapon, the Federal Corvette have armor uh, rating 70, as we talked about before, which is exactly twice the armor piercing here. That means that you are going to do 50% less damage with this weapon than you would if you had a weapon that has sufficiently sufficient uh, armor piercing. And this is the way Frontier has balanced the damage uh, from smaller weapons shooting at large ships by this armor mechanic. So if you had, let's say, a armor piercing that was 80% of the armor rating of the ship you're shooting at, you would then get the difference of 200, that's 20%, that's the remainder. Uh, you would get, then get a 20% damage reduction on the damage you do to the hull of that ship. And this is done before any resistance is applied. And this is done regardless of whether the weapon goes through the armor and does damage to the modules, or whether it does damage to the armor. It doesn't matter, this is applied first. Not that it, at the end, if you do damage to the hull, it doesn't really matter if the resistance is applied um, before or after, if it's combined, but it's just nice to keep in mind that this is applied as a separate thing before anything else is calculated. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to look at. And of course, the armor piercing can be enhanced with, um, uh, with putting on a sturdy mount, but... Um, the armor rating of your ship cannot be changed. As far as I know, there are no modules or no engineering modification that changes your armor rating, armor hardness, armor rating. Uh, I'm going to use both and if I mix them up, it's just know that it's the same thing. Um, there's nothing that changes that. That's fixed. So that's nice to keep in mind. And actually something that re when researching this that I realized because I've always liked the... Where are cannons? Here we go, cannons. I've always liked the sturdy mounted cannons. But... You can see here, the cannons already have an armor piercing of 90, so it's not that you get... I mean, this is going to overmatch any armor in the game, uh, currently. So it's not th that you're going to get a lot more in terms of um, in terms of damage um, for getting sturdy, because your armor piercing is already sufficiently high, and as far as I know, 
the game does not model the fact when you're shooting at a slope, if you come in shooting at an angle. I don't think it models that as the increased armor rating. I think it's just a fixed value for the ship. Um, that is at least my, my understanding. Um, so that's the base production in damage due to your armor from armor piercing and armor rating, um, which is fairly simple. But uh, let's move on and let's talk about how module damage and how breach damage work. To do this, we're going to go back through our gimbal beam laser. And um, if we're going to go here and click read more, we get all the nice statistics about the weapon. And what we're interested in is here. We can see the breach damage. Um, I don't think that... Uh, okay, so this is the damage um, that the weapon does when it, breaches, um, when it breaches the enemy armor. And what is the chance that it will breach the armor? Well... It's also listed here. We have the minimum breach chance and we have the maximum breach chance. The minimum breach chance is the chance that you will go through the enemy armor um, when the enemy ship is at 100% hull. When you have the maximum breach chance, here in this case it's at 80%, that's the chance you'll go through when the armor is at 0%, which of course at that point it will be exploding, but if you were at, let's say the enemy ship was at 1%, then you would be affected to be around 80% chance to punch straight through the enemy armor and then do your breach damage to the internal modules. How all that is applied, we'll look at that in a bit. But of course, remember that this damage is also, also suffers the penalty from armor piercing and armor hardness if that is applied. So keep that in mind. Um, so if we take a look at a weapon, let's say, for instance, go back and have a look at the cannon. The, come on, game. There we go, thank you. The cannon, is, uh, the cannon is known to be a weapon that's very, very effective when it comes to doing module damage. Let's see if we can uh, look at the stats and see why that is. Well, immediately we can see a very, very healthy breach damage here. It does very good damage when it breaches. And also the, the breach chances is a lot higher. 60% on, uh, on a full health ship. And that is... 50% higher than on the beam lasers. So you have a 50% higher chance of punching straight through the armor and um, and doing damage to the internal module. And as far as I understand, this is regardless of penetration or not. Um, this just ensures, this is just true in, uh, of course the penetration helps you overcome that uh, natural damage reduction you would get, but this has nothing to do with the, with the penetration. These are again fixed static values. And this goes all the way up to 90% when the ship is at low health. So again, this is a very effective weapon. Um, and you could think, oh, that's because it's a uh, it's a, f a projectile weapon. But no, it's actually not. Because look at the multi-cannon. Again, huge gimbal multi-cannon. And we can see in this case, we're back to the values that we had of the beam laser. And a very, fairly low um, fairly low breach damage DPS. If we, if we calculate the, the breach damage here, this DPS here... Um, and do that with using the rate of fire. We end up here at around 10 and a half DPS without applying the breach chances, of course. We end up 10, about 10 and a half DPS. With the cannon, I think we're around 25-ish when we compute that. So that is why the cannon is such an effective weapon because the breach DPS is a lot higher and also the breach chances is a lot higher. And of course, multi-cannons, armor piercing rating of uh, 68, so it's going to get a small amount of damage reduction when shooting at large ships, like the Anaconda or the Corvette, because the armor piercing is lower than the, um, than the armor rating. I should say that having an armor piercing higher than the armor rating of the enemy ship doesn't mean you do more damage. Don't get an increase in damage, you're still capped off at 100%. You just begin to lose damage when your armor piercing is not sufficient. So keep that in mind. Um, so... When you are being shot at and your shields are down, you're being hit on your hull and the enemy weapon penetrates through your armor depending on the weapon's breach chance, which you can go in and you can see here. Um, what will then happen is now you will then take that damage to your modules and that depends where they're hitting you, what modules take the damage. Unless, of course, you have module reinforcements. So you can see here, if we look at a D-rated module reinforcement, they have a protection rating of 60%. That means, let's say uh, you're being shot at, penetrates your armor, and it has a breach damage of 10 damage. So you're now about to take 10 damage. You have a single module reinforcement, and this will then reduce the damage by 60%. That means 6 of those 10 incoming damage will then go towards the integrity, 
which you can see up here, of your moderate reinforcement pack. The remaining four percent will go into your um, um, will go into your module. And I believe the way they stack is that you have multiple reinforcements. You will then say, okay, so first the first will take sixty percent of the ten, so that means there are four left. And then the next one will then take 60% of the remaining 4 damage, giving you, what, 1.7 or something like that. As the remaining, that will then continue on to the module. So it's not, if you have 2, you're going to get 100% reduction, but you're going to get less and less reduction. But of course, uh, that means the second one is going to take less damage to the detector too, so that will, over time, of course, mean you're going to be able to keep your, pro your protection up for longer. Once the integrity of your modular reinforcement reaches 0%, of course, it's no longer going to protect you and the damage is going to go straight through and onto your modules. So that is how modular reinforcement works um, and how breach damage work and armor piercing, armor penetration. It is fairly simple, but I think it's a, an area that a lot of people don't really pay much attention to because armor tanking has not really been something that's been used a lot in the game previously. I should say one thing, I have included in the description below a list of all the ship's um, armor rating, because as far as I've been able to see, you cannot actually see the armor rating of the ship unless you own the ship and you are in it, and you go to the statistics panel. So to avoid you guys to have to go and purchase every single ship in the game, I've gone ahead and compiled a list already. There is that in the description where you can see the armor rating of all the ships uh, currently in the game. So. I really hope you found this video useful, if you did, give it a like down below and please subscribe to the channel and until next time, I will see you guys in space.